morning children are you ready for the revision session come on today we are going to revise the main topics of lesson number 2 fractions and decimals so children let us begin the revision children in this revision session once again i will explain types of fractions addition and subtraction of fractions multiplication of fractions division of fractions decimal numbers multiplication of decimal numbers and the last topic is division of decimal numbers okay let us understand and discuss each topic in detail now students let us start with types of fractions the first one is proper fraction the fraction in which the numerator is less than the denominator such fraction is called a proper fraction for example 5 upon 8 9 upon 10 13 upon 27 children please keep it in mind that the value of the proper fraction is always less than 1 the next one is improper fraction the fraction in which the numerator is greater than the denominator such fraction is called an improper fraction and children remember that the value of the improper fraction is always greater than 1 the examples are 15 upon 7 19 upon 13 and 33 upon 17 the next one is mixed fraction a combination of a whole number and a proper fraction is known as mixed fraction for example 2 integer 1 upon 3 5 integer 1 upon 2 and 2 integer 4 upon 5 the clear children the next one is equivalent fractions in equivalent fractions the value of the fractions are equal For example, four upon five, sixteen upon twenty, and twenty-four upon thirty. The next one is like fractions. In like fractions, the denominators are same. For example, two upon seven, twelve upon seven, six upon seven. Here, students, you can see that the denominators of all the three fractions are same. And the last one is unlike fractions. In unlike fractions, the denominators are different. Means they are not same. For example, three upon five, five upon seven, fourteen upon eleven. Clear, children? Understood? Students, our next topic is addition and subtraction of fractions. Now, children, when we are doing the sum of addition and subtraction of fractions. There are like fractions also, and there are unlike fractions also so while adding two like fractions we just add both the numerators and keep the denominator as it is for example 8 upon 17 plus 5 upon 17 here is equal to 8 plus 5 upon 17 is equal to 13 upon 17 and same way for the subtraction we have to subtract the numerator by keeping the denominator as it is so 18 upon 23 minus 11 upon 23 is equal to 18 minus 11 upon 23 is equal to 7 upon 23 
understood children clear and while doing the addition of two unlike fractions first we have to take the lcm of the denominator and then we convert both the fractions into the like denominator and then we add them understood children clear for example one integer 2 upon 3 plus 3 integer 5 upon 6 is equal to 5 upon 3 plus 23 upon 6 the denominators are different and the lcm is 6 so 10 plus 23 upon 6 is equal to 33 upon 6 is equal to 5 integer 3 upon 6 the same rule the same method is to be applied while doing the subtraction of unlike fractions while doing the subtraction of unlike fractions we have to convert them into like denominators by taking the lcm then we will subtract them clear children so 4 integer 3 upon 4 minus 3 integer 5 upon 8 is equal to 19 upon 4 minus 29 upon 8 is equal to 38 upon 8 minus 29 upon 8 which gives us 38 minus 29 upon 8 that is equal to 9 upon 8 and the answer is 1 integer 1 upon 8 i hope you all have understood this students the next topic is multiplication of a fraction by a whole number by a fraction and as an operator of let us understand one by one children you know that when two fractions are to be multiplied we multiply their numerators and denominators separately and writing the product as product of numerators upon the product of denominators clear children now here the first is multiplication of a fraction by a whole number 7 multiplied by 5 upon 3 that is equal to 7 into 5 numerators upon denominator is 3 So 35 upon 3 is equal to 11 integer 2 upon 3. Now multiplication of a fraction by a fraction. Here both the numbers are fractions. 8 upon 15 multiplied by 9 upon 16. Now here the product of numerators upon the product of denominators so 8 into 9 divided by 15 into 16 now you children know that we can cut 8 ones are 8 8 twos are 16 3 threes are 9 and 3 fives are 15 so 3 upon 10 clear children understood and a fraction acts as an operator of For example, nine upon eleven of seventy-seven means nine multiplied by seventy-seven upon eleven. Now eleven ones are eleven and eleven sevens are seventy-seven and nine sevens are sixty-three. So children understood clear. Our next topic is division of fractions. a reciprocal of a fraction is obtained by inverting it upside down what does it mean that means writing a 
न्यूमरेटर एज अ डिनोमिनेटर एंड डिनोमिनेटर एज अ न्यूमरेटर इज नोन एज इन्वर्टिंग इट अपसाइड डाउन नाउ लेट एस अंडरस्टैंड डिविजन ऑफ अ फ्रैक्शन बाय अ होल नंबर वाइल्ड डिवाइडिंग अ फ्रैक्शन बाय अ होल नंबर we multiply the fraction by the reciprocal of the whole number clear children for example 7 upon 8 divided by 13 that is equal to 7 upon 8 multiplied by reciprocal of 13 is 1 upon 13 and the answer is 7 upon 104 understood the next one is division of a whole number by a fraction while dividing a whole number by a fraction we multiply the whole number with the reciprocal of the fraction now children over here let us understand this by an example 8 divided by 1 integer 3 upon 5 that is equal to 8 divided by 8 upon 5 that is equal to 8 multiplied by reciprocal of 8 upon 5 which is 5 upon 8 correct and the answer is 5 8 is in numerator and it is in denominator that will cut so answer is 5 clear and the last one is division of a fraction by a fraction while dividing one fraction by another fraction we multiply the first fraction by the reciprocal of the other for example 17 upon 8 divided by 34 upon 4 now 17 upon 8 multiplied by reciprocal of 34 upon 4 what it will be sir? children yes correct it is 4 upon 34 now again 4 ones are 4 4 twos are 8 17 ones are 17 and 17 twos are 34 so answer is 1 upon 4 clear children the next topic is decimal numbers decimal number consists two parts whole number and a decimal part which is separated by a dot called decimal point for example 37.86 now while comparing two decimal numbers first we compare the digits on the left of the decimal point starting from the leftmost digit if they are same then we compare the digits on the right of the decimal point starting from the 10th place now here in this example 69.84 and the other a number is 69.82 now first we will compare the digits on the left hand side before the decimal point over there in both the decimal numbers it is 69 So now let us compare the digits at the tenth place. At tenth place also we have eight and eight in both the decimal numbers. So now let us compare the numbers or digits at the hundredth place. And 
in the first decimal number it is 4 and in the second decimal number it is 2. So, 69.84 is greater than 69.82. Clear children? Understood? I hope you have understood it. Students, our next topic is multiplication of decimal numbers. While multiplying two decimal numbers, first multiply them as whole numbers. Count the number of digits to the right of the decimal point in both the decimal numbers. Add the number of digits counted and then put the decimal point in the product by counting the digits from the rightmost point place clear understood now multiplication of a decimal number by a whole number for example 8.7 multiplied by 6 gives us 52.2 that is only one decimal place clear the next is a decimal number multiplication of a decimal number by a decimal number that is 4.8 multiplied by 7.3 that gives us 35.04 if we will multiply 48 into 73 we will get 3504 and in both the numbers there is one one decimal place so we will Put the decimal point after two digits that is 35.04. Clear children? Understood? Now, multiplication of decimal numbers by 10, 100 or 1000. Now children, to multiply a decimal number by 10, 100 or 1000, we move the decimal point in the number to the right side by as many places as there are zeros over 1. That means, for example, 8.964 multiplied by 10, the answer will be 89.64. The decimal point will move towards right side by one place. If we are multiplying 8.964 multiplied by 100, again decimal point will move towards right side by two places that is 896.4 and 8.964 multiplied by 1000, the decimal point will move towards right side by three places and the answer is 8964. Understood children? Clear? Decimal point moves to the right side. Students, our last topic in this revision session is division of decimal number by a whole number and division of decimal number by a decimal number. So, for example, division of decimal number by a whole number 7.6 divided by 4 that is equal to 76 upon 10 divided by 4 upon 1 that is equal to 76 upon 10 multiplied by 1 upon 4 that is a reciprocal of 4 upon 1 and the answer is 1.9 now Division of decimal number by a decimal number. So, students pay attention here. 25.2 divided by 2.8. That is equal to 252 upon 10 divided by 28 upon 10. That is equal to 252 upon 10 multiplied by 10 upon 28 which is a reciprocal of 28 upon 
टेन एंड द आंसर इज नाइन अंडरस्टूड चिल्ड्रेन क्लियर ऑल ऑफ यू नाउ डिविजन ऑफ डेसीमल नंबर बाय टेन हंड्रेड एंड थाउजेंड करेक्ट सो स्टूडेंट्स वाइल डिवाइडिंग एनी डेसीमल नंबर बाय टेन हंड्रेड और थाउजेंड we have to move the decimal place to the left side by as many places as there are zeros over 1 understood children so over here 6789.4 divided by 10 the answer is 678.94 the divi- uh, decimal point will move towards left side by one place the next is 6789.4 divided by 100 the decimal point will move towards left side by two places so the answer is 67.894 and the last one is division of decimal number that is 6789.4 divided by 1000 the answer is 6.7894 the decimal point will move towards left side by three places so i hope now your doubts are clear understood children now please do the revision of all the exercise worksheets again and again you solve all the sums given in the textbook clear children all the best for your exam thank you so much